Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories, let's start to story. AITA for rejecting my stepmother's attempt to adopt me even after 11 years. When I was six, my mom passed away, and my dad turned to one of his close friends, Anna. They ended up getting married when I was seven. The day of the wedding, Anna dropped the bombshell that she wanted to adopt me. My dad was totally into it, but I lost it when she brought it up. I kinda wrecked the wedding vibe. For the next year we went through some heavy-duty therapy. The therapist and my dad and Anna kept pushing this idea that I needed a mom for my own safety and that it wasn't a betrayal of my mom to let another loving woman into my life. They even had the therapist put in a recommendation for the adoption to go through in court. When it was time for the judge to talk to me, I made it crystal clear. I'd run away if they tried to adopt me and I was serious. The judge asked why I didn't want to be adopted and I told him straight up. He listened and decided that no adoption would be approved in his court until I was fully on board with it. They did try again, requesting a different judge, but received the same response. I was asked constantly to change my mind. Anna would put her all into trying to fill the place of a mom in my life. Every time I told her she could never be my mom she took it as a challenge to try harder, and better, and she would dedicate so much time to me it was crazy. I never appreciated it because instead of just being Anna, and instead of my dad telling her to just be Anna, she saw mom as the only thing she wanted. Even when she had kids of her own, I was their oldest son, I was her son, her boy, she'd call herself a boy mom. Whereas I have never called her mom. If we're being honest I don't even love her after all these years. I see her as more of an intrusive family member who won't stop. My relationship with my dad is also not the best because I don't like that he wouldn't take no for an answer, and that he was so quick to try and push an adoption. Even after I told him I would rather be with grandparents, or an aunt slash uncle or close family friend to Anna if he died, he insisted being with Anna and her being my mom was the best for me. I turned 18 a few months ago, and I ran like my ass was on fire to get away from dad and Anna. I lived with my maternal grandparents for a little while before moving in with my maternal uncle who lived near a really good apprenticeship I wanted to join. My paternal grandparents celebrated their wedding anniversary this past weekend and I was there. While there Anna approached me and handed me papers for an adult adoption. She told me she loved me, and she wanted me to know it was not too late, that she would still adopt me and she wanted to make our relationship official as mother and son. I asked her how she could be so delusional, when I have said no to being adopted for 11 years now. I told her I would not change my mind. She and my dad were so pissed at my choice of words and chaos ensued at the party. Comment Throw away 25. Her continued insistence all these years, and the way she goes about it is sus af. Is there a deeper and hidden reason for her insistence? What else does she stand to gain if you accept? Or lose if you refuse? OOP. I think she loses the fantasy she had in her head. I feel like she wanted to be the stepmother people talk about as being the good example, the one who had such a good relationship that she adopted her stepkid, that he loved her just as much if not more than his own mom who died, and that she was good enough to help me forget the pain of losing her, and that she was enough to make all that fade away into a neatly wrapped family. I also feel like she has issues with the being treated differently to my dad and my mom. Like she doesn't want to be less than, she wants to be the exact same, to have me love her the same, and treat her the same, and for it to be again, wrapped in a bow perfect. Financial Budget 4023 And I'm glad you are around better people. Have you ever spoke to her dad alone about this? Or is there any other family members that have tried to speak to them? OOP I have spoken to my dad, it doesn't help. There's nobody they will listen to so I don't even try anymore. I kept away and only showed up for other family, and they still didn't get it. AITA, for not backing up my mom and laughing at my brother's wedding request. I'm a 27-year-old man, and I have a beautiful wife named Amara, who is 26. I want to start by giving you some context about my past before diving into the recent drama. When I was 17, I had a girlfriend who was my high school sweetheart. We'd been together since kindergarten. Even though our relationship was more of a formality during elementary and middle school, we made it official in high school. It was supposed to be a serious relationship, but things took a turn when I found out that she had been seeing my brother behind my back. It hurt immensely, especially since my parents knew about the situation, but thought our relationship was just a phase, despite me telling them first. That betrayal was a massive blow. I decided to focus on my studies and moved out of my parents' house, especially since they didn't show any sympathy for my situation. 
My ex-girlfriend tried to apologize and wanted to stay friends, but I just couldn't deal with it and ignored her. After graduating, I moved to Texas at 19. I kept in touch with my family only during holidays. Two years after moving, I met Amara at her mother's bakery. We started as friends because we both had trust issues, but our relationship grew deeper, and we became a couple a year later. Our relationship was wonderful, and I got along great with her family, and they welcomed me warmly. Our wedding was a fantastic event, although my parents and brother didn't attend. Despite sending them an invitation and calling them the day before, they didn't show up. I realized that if Amara were ever in an argument, even if she was in the wrong, I'd always have her back. That's how deep my commitment to her is. Fast forward to a week ago, my mother called me, and since Amara and I were cooking together, I put the call on speaker. My mom knows all about the issues with my family and my brother, so I didn't think much of it. My mom started by telling me that my brother and my ex are getting married, and then she made a surprising request, she wanted me to be his best man. There was a moment of silence, and then Amara and I both burst into laughter. It was a mix of shock and amusement, and it felt almost surreal. My mom hung up the phone, and we continued to enjoy our evening without thinking much of it. The next morning my phone was bombarded with angry texts from my brother and dad. They were furious because they believed I had hurt my mother's feelings and made her cry by not telling Amara to stop laughing. They felt I had been disrespectful, and the texts were filled with frustration and disappointment. A week after the incident I decided to address the situation with my brother. I confronted him about how unfair it was that he didn't attend my wedding but was now asking me to be a part of his. It turned out that my brother didn't want to come to my wedding, and my mother made up a lie about the invitation and the best man request. My brother never actually asked me to be his best man or invited me to his wedding. I called my mother to get some clarity, and she admitted that she just wanted her sons to get along again. I realized that accepting the fake offer would only make things worse, given the falsehood of the invitation. For the sake of my wife and our future, I decided to limit contact with my family. I wanted to focus on Amara and our upcoming baby, and avoid any further drama. The situation escalated when a friend of my ex found out about my post and shared it. The news spread quickly and I began receiving hurtful messages from my family and my ex's friends. I decided to turn off my phone to avoid the negativity and focus on spending quality time with my wife and her family. We're now preparing for the arrival of our baby, and I'm grateful for the support from my wife's side of the family. In a final update, here's where things stand now. 1. My family is no longer in my life. I have decided to cut off all contact with them. 2. Amara read my post and the comments. She loved the support but was upset that I described her reaction as a giggle. She wanted me to clarify that it was actually a full cackle. 3. Our baby is growing healthy and we're hopeful for a girl. Thank you for listening to today's story. Have a nice day.